Are you thinking about getting that master's degree in music? I did not, and everything is going just fine. Let's talk about it. My name is Paul Gavin, and I have been making my entire living as a freelance musician for three years, zero months, and 21 days. Ha <laughs> Yes! And my mission is to show you that you can do the exact same thing. Let's talk a little bit about whether or not we should be getting master's degrees in music. My thoughts may surprise you a little bit. When I was in school at the University of South Florida, I did two years of classical percussion, one year of music education, and two years of jazz studies. I like to be able to say that I got everything that USF has to offer. But throughout my last two years of school, I was toying with this idea of whether or not I wanted to get a master's degree or not. In my last two years of school, I spent almost as much time outside of school as I did inside of school. I started going out to jams and shows and building connections that way. I also started playing drums at Bush Gardens, which is the local theme park in Tampa, Florida. And I also built a studio of about 14 private students, as well as being pretty well connected with the band directors in the area. I would go in and do jazz clinics and teach their drummers, teach their percussion sections. So, you know, by the time these two years were over, I had really built something kind of special here in Tampa for myself. So when it came time for me to start thinking about whether or not I wanted to go to grad school, I sort of looked around and said, wow, I kind of have a career here already. I knew if I was going to go to grad school, I didn't plan on going to USF again. I wanted to get an expansion of the perspective on music that I had as opposed to getting more of what I had already gotten. Of course, I'm thankful for the great education I got at USF with the fantastic teachers there. But if I was gonna go to grad school, at that time it was going to be something new not the same so i knew that usf was out of the question so it was going to be a matter of me either staying here in tampa and building the career that i have or i was going to have to leave everything that i had built and go to a different city to do grad school which was going to be a tough decision after a lot of deliberation, I decided that knowing that I had built something that I felt was fairly special here in Tampa, that I wanted to stay here and build my career. I wanted to start using the things that I had learned in practice and seeing what it looks like to truly be a musician. So I decided that I was going to stay here and let grad school go for that. I've got to say, it's worked out great for me. I'm making my entire living playing, teaching, and writing music, and I haven't heard anyone ask me for my diploma yet. So, with all of that said, if you are thinking about making this decision, there's a couple things that I just want to offer that you might want to think about. Why are you going to grad school? Is there really a good reason for you to be going to grad school? You really need to think about that. Are you sure it's coming from inside you, or are there pressures in those walls of college that are making you feel like you should be going? See, what you gotta remember is that colleges make money off of you going to college, so obviously while you're in college, you're gonna feel the pressure of colleges want you to go back to college so that they'll make more money off of you going to college. See how that works? So just make sure that the reason you're thinking about grad school is because you need to go. There are lots of musicians on the music scene that you're a part of that are doing great and they have advanced degrees from wonderful prestigious colleges. And there's also wonderful musicians on your scene that are doing great that maybe don't even have a degree at all. It really just depends on your skills and what you offer to the scene. The scene will give back to you. Is it worth it? Think about it for a second. What are the value propositions for going to school? I personally can only think of two for grad school. One, you get a lot better at your craft. You'll be immersed for two whole years and working on your stuff, and that's very important. The other one being being qualified to teach at a university if that's something you're interested in. And that is just about it. Now you can get better at your craft for free by just practicing. There's all sorts of information all around the internet that you can use to get better at your craft, and a lot of it is free and won't put you in debt. Now you might still be thinking, well, yeah, I know that going to school is expensive and everything, but I really think that I need that environment where I'm truly immersed in what I'm trying to learn. If that's you, then you should go to grad school. That's exactly what you need. But I just wanna offer these thoughts in case that's not what you need. I don't want you going if you don't need to. Where are you thinking about going? See, I actually think that's the most important question. If I ever go to grad school, it's going to be in a place where I can see myself living for a pretty long time. I wouldn't go somewhere with like a dead music scene. That wouldn't work out for me at all. I would go somewhere like in Miami or DC where it appears that the music scene is thriving. Somewhere where while I'm in school, I can have one foot in and the other foot out of school, kind of like my last two years at USF, so that I could start building the same career that I have here in Tampa. See, remember, when you go to grad school, you're investing two years of your life in a location. It may as well be a location where you can make a living once you graduate. If I ever go to grad school, I know for sure that it's going to be somewhere where I feel like I can live for a while. 
I'm gonna have one foot inside the school and one foot out, and I'm gonna start building connections, making relationships, and making music so that when I graduate, I've got a nice foundation to build on, and I'll stay there for a few years. Those are just my thoughts on grad school. I thought that it might be useful to share that with anyone who's thinking about that, but I would love to know your thoughts. Did you go to grad school? If you did, was it worth it? Did you graduate with debt? How's the debt going now? If you're thinking about going to grad school, what degree are you thinking about getting? What is the value proposition that you're seeing in grad school? I'd love to hear from you and I know that we could all benefit from your thoughts as well. If you got any value from this video, I would be honored and appreciated if you gave it a thumbs up because that'll help me reach more people and the decision of whether or not to go to grad school is an important one and I think I have a couple things to offer in that area, so I'd love it for more people to be able to hear about it. Hey, if me and you are meeting for the first time, I want you to know that on this channel I do drum cams of me playing on my gigs, I do vlogs that give an idea of what it's like to be a freelance musician, and I also do educated resources to help people that are private teachers, and also band directors be better educators to their drummers. If anything like that interests you, you gotta hit that subscribe button, I don't know what you're doing. You wanna be informed, don't you? Well, you gotta subscribe. Hey, I think there's a lot of negativity out there in the music business. What I want me and you to do is lock arms, lift each other up, and rise together. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.